Okay, welcome to episode two of Hello Europe. We're now in Berlin. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode two of Hello Europe, this time from Berlin. Uh, thanks to everyone who watched the first episode of Hello Europe, Beer in Paris. We got some great feedback. We've tried to integrate those feedback here. Um, I, one thing I did you know, fail to mention the last time is that we have subtitles. Mostly this interview, uh, this show is gonna be in English, but there might be parts in German. You can click on the CC button down there uh, to get subtitles. The theme for this episode is what makes Berlin special? Or, was macht Berlin besonders? Okay, hallo, uh, woher kommt, kommt ihr? Ich komme aus München. München? Und dann? Uh, Frankfurt ursprünglich, ich wohne in München. Okay, ja. Yeah. Und dann, ja, uh, yeah, seit wann seid ihr in Berlin? Uh, seit einem halben Jahr und halben er ist Jahr? zu Besuch. Ich bin zu Besuch. Weil Berlin so toll ist, kommt er immer her. Ja, yeah, also, okay, dann die Frage ist, ist, ist so einfach, was macht Berlin besonders, ne? Ja, es ist so vielfältig hier. Man hat so viele verschiedene Viertel ja. und äh, es ist so international. Es gibt so viele schöne Läden, Restaurants. So viel gutes Essen. Ja, also besser als in München, oder? Ja, in München es ist vielfältiger nicht so viel. auch und äh, die, es gibt ein gutes preis leistungs -Verhältnis. Ja, genau. Ähm. Ja, München ist ja to, äh, leicht teuer, teuer als ja. ja? ja. Viel teurer und man kriegt nicht so viel zu essen. Man kriegt nur ja. keine Portion. Also ich habe das bemerkt, dass das ähm, Bier nicht so gut ist äh, wie in München, oder? In München ist besseres Bier. Ja, es gibt so viel anderes Bier. In München hat man das helle, genau. also das ist eine andere Sorte und hier ja. trinkt man Pilz. Okay, cool. Äh, woher kommst du dann? Aus München. Aus München eigentlich? München, also ja. das Zweite heute? Ja, genau. Okay. Und dann, was machst du denn heute in Berlin? Äh, wir sind jetzt über ein langes Wochenende hier. Okay. Also ich bin am Mittwoch schon hoch, dann beruflich wegen einer Konferenz und haben gesagt, äh, langes Wochenende hinhängen. Oh ja. äh, und ein bisschen äh, durch die Stadt einfach, ne? Okay, cool. Das, das ist kein also erstes Mal. Das ist, du bist schon in Berlin. Du warst schon in Berlin. Ja, ich habe auch ein halbes Jahr schon gearbeitet. Ah, okay. Schon drei Jahre her. Also ich kenne gut. gut. Ich kenne auch viele ja. Leute gut und okay. ich habe mich ein bisschen verliebt auch äh, in Berlin. Ja, ja. Und dann, was, was magst du nicht in Berlin? Was ich nicht mag? Ja. Ah, was mag ich nicht? Aber das ist ganz schwierig, weil ich habe mich ein bisschen ja. verliebt. Also es gibt wenig, äh, was, was ich eigentlich nicht mag. Äh, was mag ich nicht? Ich mag nicht, dass manche Leute dann, äh, also manche Berliner tatsächlich, ähm, dann sagen, ah, es soll nicht zu viele Leute hierher ziehen. Also okay. Ja, weil dann, dann wird, geht unser Berliner Flair irgendwie verloren so. Also die ganzen äh, Touristen oder vom Ausland dann nach, nach Berlin ziehen und die, das Berlin, was sie eigentlich lieben, so kaputt machen. Ah, okay. Das glaube ja. ich eigentlich nicht. Ich glaube eigentlich, auch wenn Leute von anderen Ländern, Kulturen kommen, dass diese Vielfalt trotzdem äh, erhalten bleibt. Auch, ja, ja. Genau, das ist eine sehr internationale Stadt, ne? Genau. Ja, na, danke schön, das war sehr nett. Uh, und dann, ja, schönen Abend. Ja, gerne, gerne. I'm outside Papelhaya Cafe, where we're gonna meet with Jakob Eric. We're in Neukölln, and it's so cold. Uh, you can see behind me that it's getting foggy already. Uh, but we're gonna go inside and talk to Jakob in the warmth of this beautiful cafe. Where are we right now? Which part of Berlin are we in right now? Okay, so uh, right now we are in Neukölln. Yeah. And that's um, like an old western uh, part of uh, Berlin. Mm. Now the 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 um, it's been gentrified, yeah. of course, like in any other part, like, like like most of Berlin, to be honest. Exactly, yeah. So so uh, you know, Köln is a uh, like really popular uh, and has been for the last I don't know five years, six, seven years. Um, of course, a lot of young people have moved here. It's really international. Uh, there's a new bar or new restaurant, new cafe opening around this area like every month. And what what do you like like the most about Berlin? Um, my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct answer, I think. <laughs> no, it's so it's, it's uh, bigger than Munich, for example, and um, you have so many things to discover. It's never boring. Why are you not in another city? Why are Because there are a lot of young in Berlin, and it's a very vibrant city. Die ganze Welt trifft sich hier, ganz viele junge Leute kommen nach Berlin und die Stadt ist noch nicht so entwickelt wie andere Städte. Es entwickelt sich immer noch sehr viel. So entwickelt es in ähm, vielleicht kommerziell Standpunkt oder? Ja, in vielen Bereichen. Kommerziell, in der Barszene, in der Clubszene, in der Wohnungsszene. Es ist alles noch nicht so established. 
let's start with actually, uh, so you, your full name is Jakob Eric. No. No, what's your full name? My full name is Jakob Eriksson. Excuse me. Sometimes, uh, yeah, our viewers should know that uh, Facebook names are not completely <laughs> accurate. So Jakob Eriksson, uh, you're from? Uh, originally, I'm from Denmark. Okay. Uh, Copenhagen or? Yeah, I was born in Copenhagen, but I grew up in the countryside. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> our Scandinavian countryside. Yeah. Uh, we just have all these images. Um, so how long have you been in Berlin? Okay, I've lived here for now four years. Uh, I'm a bachelor, I studied musicology, so that's more about music and scores and all like that. Um, so uh, what I wanted to do, I wanted to, do, to, to study the sound of music or the sound of culture or sound of everyday um, or ex yeah, experimental music or like where, where, we, where we work with sound and, and not scores or, or instruments. And, stuff. and so was your choice to come to Berlin also related to that? Is that something that exists more in Berlin than in Copenhagen? Yeah. Definitely. So I did some research and found a lot of uh, university, uh, uh, universities around uh, Europe and the States and then I chose Berlin because it was the best study. So what's th what do you like the most about Berlin, if you had to be pick like one thing? Uh, I think it's the best thing is that you can just be who you are. You don't have to wear a certain type of clothes and you don't have to act a certain way because in Munich it's everyone has to be like the stereotype. Okay. What is the stereotype? Very pretty and skinny and with a lot of brands and bags. Okay, yeah, someone told us that people don't care about money in Berlin. Do you think that's true? I think they don't. No, that's <laughs> not true. There's a lot of business here and um, all the startup uh, companies oh, yeah. are here. SoundCloud, I think. Yeah, yeah. that's a trend. Yeah. Um, Berlin can be a pretty tough city as well. Like in, in what way? It's not that glamorous here. Yeah. It can be pretty uh, hard. Like there can be some pretty heavy clouds, like weather-wise, but also mentally, uh, hanging over the city. Um, so you feel it? Definitely, yeah, yeah. What do you not like about Berlin? Uh, it's so cold. Oh, that is, yeah, we've been out here for a while and we are freezing. Wearing any gloves. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't know it was going to be this cold, even though I should have. I was like, no, nah, it's ah, going to be fine. It's so far away from the mountains. Yes, this is true. Uh, you can't really go hiking yeah, around. Because if you're here, you're just here. You're no nowhere, you're not at the seaside. Yeah. yeah. So why why did you choose to <laughs> come here then? Study here. Oh, in Freie Universität? Or? No, at Charité. Okay. It's, yeah, for medicine. The Berliners, they're well known for being grumpy. Yeah. Okay, but the Berliners, they're grumpy and then they're impolite. Um, really? Yeah. Ah, maybe, maybe, like, that would be maybe the, the Ur-Berliner. So the people who have living here for, for uh, many years. Yeah. But you can really feel it when you are on the, the U-Bahn uh, traveling uh, around the city and y you see these sad faces um, yeah, between a lot of tourists uh, being drunk and yeah. going out party. So it's a, it's, it's a weird mix of uh, happiness and excitement and, and, and sadness and um, uh, Weltschmerz. <laughs> so Weltschmerz, yeah, which sort of is like um, world uh, pain, world... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it's like worldly, worldly pain or something like that. Yeah, exactly. uh, what you is, uh, was macht Berlin besonders für, für dich? Uh, für mich macht Berlin besonders die, die Vielfalt einfach. Also im Vergleich zu München, München ist ja sehr klein auf jeden Fall, Berlin ist sehr groß und genau. du kriegst eigentlich von Restaurants, Bars, Clubs, uh, alles von allem kriegst du also sehr viel ja. und eine sehr große Vielfalt in der Stadt, in verschiedenen Kiezen und uh, Stadtvierteln, das ist einfach sehr interessant. Man kann immer was entdecken und siehst immer was Neues, ja. manche schließen, macht wieder neu auf, aber ja. es bewegt sich immer. Du kommst aus dann Köln, ne? Ja, ich bin aus Köln. Also ja, seit wann da bist du in Berlin? Seit Donnerstag sind wir hier, um die Stadt zu entdecken. Okay, also ist das das erste Mal, oder? Äh, nein, ich war schon vorher ein paar Mal in Berlin, aber es ist jedes Mal neu, aufregend und schön, weil man immer wieder was anderes entdecken kann. Okay, also du magst, du magst Berlin, ne? Dann ja, ich finde Berlin sehr vielseitig und ähm, es gibt ein schönes, großes Angebot ja. für, oder also an Kultur, an Gastronomie, an ähm, interessanten Leuten, Street Food Festivals. Ja, aber in Köln auch, ne? Köln, das könnte so Festival, Karneval. Ja, ja, Köln ja. ist für Karneval sehr bekannt und ähm, es gibt auf jeden Fall Verbindungen zwischen Köln und Berlin, okay. was, was so die, den Spirit angeht. Ähm, also okay. gibt's, kann man schon Vergleiche machen. Und was motiviert Berlin und was macht diese Welt run? Es ist einfach eine sehr, sehr vibrante Stadt. 
And it's easy to come here to, to have a new project, like you have a startup, then you go to Berlin, you have still have a quite easy uh, um, living uh, uh, a lifestyle. Like, yeah. yeah, you have. It's uh, more. It's cheaper than Paris, for example. Uh, yeah, you have low costs, uh, uh, rent, and food is also still cheap, yeah. and so you can really st uh, start your startup here. Yeah, start your startup. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 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 that is really really cool and really inspiring. Was Berlin besonders macht im Vergleich zu Köln, genau. ähm, große Multikulturalität. Okay. In Köln gibt es die Universität mit Studenten, oder? Ja, genau. Köln ja. hat eine Uni und noch 18 andere ähm, Hochschulen, aber die Uni ist die größte Hochschule. Okay. Und also dann bleibst du hier in Berlin, also bis wann? Wir fliegen morgen wieder zurück. Ah, okay, dann ja, gute Reise dann. Dankeschön. Und Dankeschön. Ja, gerne. Ja. Viel Spaß noch. Uh, I feel like since the fall of the Berlin Wall, People have always been saying, um, well, Berlin is not the same anymore, you know. And I have a friend who lives in Leipzig. Mm -hmm. uh, some people even call it the Heipzig because, uh, because it was so hyped up to be the next Berlin, right? Yeah. And so people have been lamenting for ages, okay, like, is Berlin dying? Now, is, it, is it not the same anymore? Uh, your take? Uh, it's funny. Um, they are always talking about what will the next Berlin be. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I think Berlin will stay Berlin because it's been ever evolving yeah. through the times. Like when uh, Iggy Pop and David Bowie and Brian Eno lived here, they lived in in Schönberg, and that's a really like it's that's an area for old people now. Oh, so you're saying, for example, like today Prenzlauer is uh, strollers, lots of strollers uh, and newly married, uh, you know, uh, yeah. young young couples. Yeah. You're saying maybe Berlin will remain Berlin in its totality, but maybe Prenzlauer will then eventually be a more, you know, older, <laughs> older place. Exactly. Yeah, and and that's the di dynamics of Berlin. So I think it will just stay like that. Yes, there are some things that you don't like to do in Berlin. Yes. You can see. In fact, this city is too big. One thing I really love about Berlin is it's so uh, political. Yes. Um, so there, most people are really open for, or a lot of people are really open for for uh, migrants from Syria. Yeah. And Refugees welcome. You see that a lot of yeah. All over the place. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also this um, right wing part of the people, hating tourism and voting for uh, alternative for Deutschland. Yeah, of the. Uh, the but I didn't know that they were so present. I mean, that that was present in Berlin at all. As well, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, thank you, and yeah, uh, this is the next month.